imagine that you've got sciatic leg pain and nothing would work to alleviate that pain. It's like a toothache in your leg. It's just nagging, nagging, nagging. EMA 401's gonna take that away. In a career studded with pioneering breakthroughs in drug discovery, Professor Marie Smith is acknowledged internationally for her significant and sustained contributions to pain relief and pharmaceutical development. Her major discovery is an angiotensin II type II or AT2 receptor antagonist shown in trials to reduce neuropathic pain. EMA 401 has a completely new mechanism of action. It works by shutting down the hyperexcitability of your damaged peripheral nerves to make them normal. Around 20% of the adult population suffers from chronic pain, almost half with neuropathic characteristics. And an estimated 6 million patients worldwide endure intractable neuropathic pain. Smith's EMA401 pharmaceutical avoids the central nervous system side effects produced by current pain medicines and promises to improve the quality of life of patients and their caregivers and reduce the socio-economic cost of poorly relieved chronic pain for healthcare providers. In 2005, Smith and Uniquest formed Spinifex Pharmaceuticals to protect the initial neuropathic pain patent. In 2006, a second patent was filed to protect Smith's unexpected discovery that AT2 antagonists also alleviated chronic inflammatory pain. Spinifex was acquired in June 2015 by global pharmaceutical company Novartis International AG. It's the largest commercialisation deal that's ever happened in Australia at $1 billion, which is just mind-blowing, really. If the research is worth doing and it's good research, well then the ultimate aim is to get that research to an outcome. Um, today we might call that innovation or uh, we might give it some other name, but that's something Marie has always known. As Executive Director of the Centre for Integrated Preclinical Drug Development at the University of Queensland, and until recently its commercial interface TetraQ, Smith leads a team with a decade-long record of collaboration with the biopharmaceutical sector to progress innovative drugs and biologics. If you want to change people's lives, you have no choice but to go down the commercialisation track because without patent protection, nobody is going to commercialise your invention. She has played a profound role in shaping the field. Smith holds 11 patents in pain relief, over half as sole grantee, with patented novel analgesics technologies licensed to three spin-out companies. Through her intuition, persistence and passion, she played the driving role to achieve a staggering commercial outcome for the drug, which will both advance the industry and improve patient outcomes and financial returns. If you don't have strong discovery research, outstanding discovery research, as we have in Australia, there is nothing to commercialise. Marie is a very uh, passionate person, so she just lives and breathes her research. She's an innovator, entrepreneur, and that sort of passion is really what you need to be successful in this enterprise. I suspect that uh, we will see more drugs in the market uh, over time that will have had Marie's fingerprints on them. What a, what a wonderful legacy. Smith's development and commercialisation of EMA 401 is a truly remarkable success. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage this year's Clooney's Ross Knowledge Commercialisation Award winner, Professor Marie Smith.